model flow create into the drawings. Annotation is create elements direct model in express model which creates to the drawings of 3D models, retaining an active association between these two. You can start it from the express group of the application tab. Annotation provides large quantity of settings which control the element images in the drawing. Let's first create um, a drawing for a vacuum adapter of the jigsaw. There is some structure in annotation. A view is the general object representing a 3D model in 2D space. Sheet is the drawing sheet on which the views are placed, and drawing is a group of one or more sheets including the document owner. You can create standard thematic and detailed views, add or remove components from a view, paste additional information, create and modify sketches and so on in annotation. To create new 2D drawing you will need to define the mode 2D or 3D process or without a model. You will need to define the own of 2D drawing uh, that is a part or recently selected from the structure browser or in the viewport. You will need to select the up and front directions of the front view using the context menu of the AUX 3D viewport. You, will, you can right click to verify these directions. You will need to define the frame type and scale um, effector. You can also click add views to add views to the drawing, drawing such as orthogonal, uh, isometric and general views. Uh, select use view profile which is a collection of settings that give you an optimal combination of your currency and performance for drawing updates. When you create a drawing through the setup group comments, you can add a standard views and some dependent views like section, detail, partial and broken view. You can create a section view to show a cross section of a part or assembly. Section line passes through all parts of uh, the selected assembly. You should define a section line perpendicular to or a view direction that should exceed the bounds of elements. The section line must be an open polyline consisting of straight elements. You can uh, define whether or not to display secured part. The line option calculates the view perpendicular to the section line along all of its segments. Specify the parent view from the drawing browser or from the viewport and so on. You should remember that if the parent view or se section line are deleted, the section view will be also deleted. Uh, section line can be moved or rotated on its parent view. You can also reverse the direction of uh, the line, take the direction at the end, one end of the section line when it is composed of more than one segment, edit the individual segments of the section line. Another type is a detail view. Well, a detail view shows a particular array of an existing view to provide greater clarity. An original view should be available before you create a detail view. You need to specify the parent view from the drawing browser or from the viewport. Draw a detail border that can be rectangular, circle, polygon and spline. If necessary, enter a new detail view label, enter a scale value and uh, use view profile. When working with detail views you should remember that the detail border is not associated to the 3D model and if the parent view is deleted the detail view is also deleted. Uh, also you can create a partial view uh, that is identical to a detail view except that the original view is replaced by the partial view. To create such kind of uh, view, you will also need to specify parent view, partial border. Uh, click in the annotation viewport to specify a position for the partial view by placing a placeholder onto the sheet. Uh, you can restore full view by partial to full command. Remember that annotation replaces a partial view with a full view without restoring annotation information, like annotations, detail borders and section lines added to the detail view. A cutaway array is a section of an existing view defined by a cutaway body and the depth. Annotation displays a cutaway array in the view labeled, labeled and enclosed within the original border. 
you can specify depths of category in three ways by point that set the category depths to a point clicked on the part like you see we do it now by face it sets the category depths to a face clicked on the part and by vp that sets the category depths to a work plane that must be parallel to the plane with the border you can uh, cut secured parts in the option sections that allows creating a category of secured part uh, time to time you will need to update your drone especially after uh, any some modifications to display their current status if you have a long part you can decrease an image for clear representation in the drawing you can remove a part the center and create a broken new saving correct dim dimensions click horizontal or vertical in the add gap area to specify a point where to create a break in the view and adjust the gap in the 3d vp viewport to the required size you see we do it now in the appearance area, you can change the line uh, type for judge and wave line, specify high and width, and specify size of broken area. As for 3D models, uh, you also have uh, a drawing browser for uh, your annotation. You will see here all the sheets, drawings, views, and so on, and you can manage. You can also add text to a drawing to provide more information about the model. A click text new in the text button from the annotate group. To type the text, use a, like we do it now an external text editor or a build in one. In the build in editor, you can add a a special symbols by clicking on pictures and select. You will need to just select a required symbol from the list. You can also set different text attributes in the appearance area like angle, size, ratio, slant, line space, color, font, fr text frame, and so on. To position your text in the viewport, just click the viewport at the appropriate point. You can also create a reference line. You will just need to click the uh, begin point on the text and symbol and the last point you can also um, have another arrow type color line type and so on you see we do it now as the reference line leads from text and symbol to a target element in the drawing then if you later move the source text to symbol or the target element the reference line moves accordingly you can add symbols to a drawing first specify required symbol time type uh, either geometric dimension in intolerant symbols or surface or welding symbols then uh, double click in the template browser and select symbol from the list the symbol appears on the cursor and when it is placed in the annotation viewport so you can position it wherever you need uh, on the sheet the parameters menu opens where you can select the default parameters or enter new ones for the symbol. You can also define appearance, size, uh, size, text, color for your symbols. When you create a section view, annotation automatically adds hatching uh, to the section array of the part. You can also hatch an array manually if the automatic hatch fails or if there is a need to mark a distinction between arrays in a viewport. To add hatching, you should specify a closed boundaries of the hedge. The hedge border can be defined manually with polygonal edges or it can be specified implicitly by clicking the face to hedge. Annotation provides also various types of dimensions you can use for detailed description of drawing elements, like linear, angular, circular dimensions. Click first uh, the begin point for the dimension in, and then the end one for single dimension. The first chain point for the chain dimensions and so on depending from the dimension type. You can also modify dimensions or add geometry to a drawing like horizontal and vertical lines, circles and arcs, lines, construction geometry and so on.